This is something that could take years to figure out. I'm just okay. trying to get you in the ballpark. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello Aviators, welcome back to the Finer Points. In this video, we're gonna pick up the lessons with Jeremy, uh, where we're just working on his fundamental skills, just getting him looking in the right spot and getting him a better feel with the airplane. You're not gonna find any of these maneuvers in particular on like a practical test, but if you learn these basic skills, all of your maneuvers will get better and you'll start acing check rides. We're picking up from the last video, so we're gonna join here where we start working on coordination rolls. Um, these are just rolls first without any rudder at all so that he can experience what it feels like when you're doing it wrong. And then working on bringing in just the right amount of rudder at the right time, depending on how much aileron we're deflecting. Check it out. Cool, so why don't we why don't we do a little more of those coordination rolls? Since that came up here, so let me bring this back and let's slow down. You got the flight controls again. Okay. Um, we don't need to go all the way down to MCA, but something pretty pretty close. You could just set your power at 18 and that good. There you go. Okay. And just pitch up so that we slow down instead of go down. All right, that's good right there, and then I'll bring your power. Let me do your power, okay. actually. Right. All right, so the, the mission for you first is going to be to put your feet flat on the floor with no rudder. Right. And just roll back and forth and try to feel what's going on in the seat of the airplane. And if you go real slow like that, real slow roll, that's a little bit of aileron deflection. You won't feel it as much as if you do a faster roll. Good, like that. Now you should feel the left side of your seat there for a second. Let's come back to this way. Uh, the right side of your seat there. Go back to the left. Left side right there. It's like a second after you do it. Come back to the right. Right side right there. Yeah. It's very subtle, right? Especially in a plane, again, this docile. Um, and that's telling you that that's the rudder you need. So now your job is going to be to bring in that rudder and practice just rolling until everything feels nice and in the seat. So you put your feet back on the pedals and it's always together, you, you know, you're not going to cross control. So if you roll right, you need right rudder. Yeah. Not bad, try a fast roll out of that. Go faster. Faster? Yeah, roll, pick up the roll rate just a little bit. There you go. So you get dizzy. If you're going to get dizzy, let me back to the right. Rudder, more rudder, more rudder. There it is. You can kind of feel it when you lock it in. That's just what you're playing with. Is This is like, by the way, this is something that could take years to figure out. I'm just okay. trying to get you in the ballpark. All right, after we finished with this air work, we headed over to Half Moon Bay to do some high-speed taxis. If you guys like that, by the way, there is tons of stuff like this in our Ground School app. You can come take a free three-day trial and check it out for yourself at learnthefinerpoints.com. For this exercise, you definitely need a CFI in the right seat, somebody aware of everything that's going on, making sure there's no traffic or debris or animals on the runway. Um, these are even best done at a towered airport where someone has your back. But the basic idea is you're gonna kind of do like a soft field takeoff down the entire length of the runway. Make sure you don't set the power too high or you will lift off. So probably best if your CFI is manipulating the power and the yoke so that you can just focus on the Lindbergh reference, that little, you know, corner of the forward window where you are gonna get the data you need, whether you're going left or right or, you know, pitching up or pitching down or when you're in the air rolling, that Lindbergh reference is huge. So your, your goal here in this exercise is to just focus on that Lindbergh reference and use your feet to keep the center line of the runway. You can even experiment with it. Look, you know, go left a little bit, see what it looks like when you're drifting left, go right a little bit, see what it looks like when you're drifting right. That way you will learn when you're flaring to get the nose way up high, not worry about if you can't see over the nose and look right there in that Lindbergh reference to get the information you need. Check it out. So we're gonna go down the length of the runway in a high speed taxi. This is another Lindbergh reference exercise where um, if you haven't done short fields, you probably haven't done soft fields. Oh. Right. Okay. So this will be an introduction to something. Okay. 
Um, let's check the final approach path here. I just kind of turn a little toward it like that. All right, good. One's there. Okay. I'll make the call here and I'll put us out on the runway. Okay. You got controls? I do. I have the flight okay. controls. Half of Bay traffic, Skyhawk 996 Romeo Alpha, be taking runway 12 for uh, high speed taxi, the length of the runway. 12. All right, so your job is going to be to look at the Lindbergh reference. Okay. And you've got the pedals. Okay. Um, you don't need to touch the oak here. Okay. I'll do that. Um, but just keep us basically on the runway and practice what that looks like, okay? Um, this is a, what we'd call a soft field takeoff. Okay. What does that mean? Uh, it means we're going to ride a wheelie down the runway. Okay. So, all right. Um, so I have rudder? You, yep, and look at your Lindbergh reference. Good. There you go. A little right rudder. A little more right rudder. There you go. Now we're going straight. Good, like that. And then just keep us on the runway, trusting that Lindbergh reference. Good. If you see center line out there, you went too far to the right. Good. All right. This is what a flare should look like. The end of the the end of the takeoff, I mean the end of the landing rather, is this pitch attitude. So try to burn the pitch attitude into your mind. Okay. All right. All right. We'll do it back the other way. And we'll take off. So when you're landing, Normally you're looking over the nose, but when you lose the reference over the nose, continue to, you, you can still get the data you want. All right, Half Moon Bay traffic, Skyhawk 909 or 6 Romeo Alpha will be high speed taxi down the lane, runway 30, Half Moon. All right, I'm on the controls here. Just on the controls. Turns. Oh, so you're just doing a 180. Yeah, we'll go back that way, and then okay. when we get down the other side, we'll, t we'll actually take us on the line. There are no aircraft landing. Much prefer to do this at towered airports because I'm always a animals running out. But all right. Anyway. Okay. All right. You've got the pedals. Got and the pedals. Here we go. Job is just to keep us going straight down the runway. There's our wheelie. drifting left yep. a little. There you go, good. So you can see that, right? Yeah. You can get all the data you need out there. All right, aviators, that's all for this episode of The Finer Points. A huge thanks to the patrons. If you are interested in becoming a patron, supporting these videos, and getting tons and tons of bonus content, uh, please visit patreon.com slash learntfp. Also, a huge thanks to the sponsors, to ForeFlight, to Bose, and to AOPA. Remember that when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select pilot protection services. That could be huge for you someday. Also, please come to learnthefinerpoints.com where you can get a free gift video and a free three-day trial to our ground school app all of these exercises that you're seeing in these videos you can find in the ground school app so definitely give that a look you can check it out for three days a full feature trial to see if it's for you and decide whether or not you want to make that investment in your piloting skills remember to hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit that little alert bell so you get notified and uh, share far and wide with your friends and most importantly until next time be safe and fly your best